whoa, 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 blue on blue, blue on blue, blue, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, all of my worlds collided recently on the internet when my my Lebanese side clashed with my redneck being from the south side, and I, I saw something that bothered me a lot. You want to see what bothered me? Well, I saw this lady, who is someone that I think I've seen before. I'm not exactly sure. She got tweeted by this lady, Samira, someone who I've never seen at all ever in my entire life, but she is for the Abrahamic Alliance Against Globalism, which I don't know what that fucking means. She said, This accent needs to be illegal, and women should be banned from doing manual labor like this. There is nothing feminine about American women. American women are literally men. Uh, just calling out everybody. Women, American women, people with that accent. Everybody, basically, Samira Khan was calling out for the, in the name of the Abrahamic Alliance Against Globalism or whatever the fuck's in her bio, whatever the fuck that means. What does that mean? Can someone explain that in depth to me? What is the Abrahamic Alliance Against Globa Globalism? Like Abrahamic religions? Like, like religions? Abrahamic? Abraham? God and Abraham? I don't know. Shit, I'm confused. So now we gotta watch this and see why this woman is so mad that she thinks this person, this woman's accent should be illegal and women should be banned from doing manual labor. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. Oh my God. Shoo, that is funny. Women should be banned from doing manual labor. They pretty much are already. Good morning, y'all. Quick update on the house because I've been pretty terrible about giving y'all these. Um, we took a look. Okay, so she's from the south. I get that. Okay. Great for noodling season and to put out boxes. Now. Noodling. Okay, she's noodling. That's where you you catch catfish with your hands. You noodle around in holes with your fingers. Now that it's dried in, we can do it at our own pace. But here she is. We're gonna stain all that wood a darker brown, and the shutters when we get that on. We'll have handrails, of course. There's the carport over there. Quick run through. All these trusses are gonna be exposed and we're gonna have old tin in the ceiling. Got daddy and Paul up there working on a wall we're gonna put up for the upstairs office. And we got Def Leppard playing in the background, of course. Back porch, beautiful view. And then the wall. I will say really not that beautiful of a view, to be honest. Just kind of like grass and some hardwood. <laughs> It's <laughs> really not that beautiful. Good construction though, it's nice. And then the walkway to the carport. <sighs> I'll try to be better about these, but you can also use my code HANNAH25 for 25% off We The People holsters. Hope y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all. They made me buy one of their, I had to buy one of their holsters. This is this. They're the only people who make a holster for an FN reflex. I had to buy one. I didn't use her code though. I didn't know she existed until like yesterday. So she really doesn't like that woman's accent and the fact that she's helping her her dad and Paul, a guy named Paul, build a building. American women are literally men. I don't know what this I, like. This is bait. This is this is fucking obviously bait. Is it not? It has to be. There's no way you could ever want what you like that's it that's like that doesn't make any sense first off a lot of people in america have that accent you can't choose what accent you have okay it's not like something you can choose really just like you can't really choose where you're born <laughs> Women should be banned from doing manual labor like this like, what does that even mean bro women are only allowed to be brood mothers they're allowed to have have babies and then before they have babies, the way that men should interact with them is buy them stuff, and that's it. Buy them stuff, they shouldn't lift a finger ever, never, ever, ever, ever. And then they should have babies, and then that's it. I mean, Abraham, it does, it lines up. That's Old Testament. I, I'm starting to understand. Arrest that man! Samira responded to her original tweet and said, Lebanese women are actually perfect. <laughs> And they are actually feminine, unlike estrogen deficient American women who hold the record for highest testosterone levels in the world. Are the men lacking in testosterone or are the women lacking in estrogen? This just seems like, um, like more bait. Estrogen deficient. I don't know. Is really, is our hormones really that important as to how, what kind of like, if you do manual labor or not? Oh my God, this is just mean. 
and then I just mean, his arm between them. I don't understand why this is such a negative why why putting like why doing stuff is a negative thing I don't really get it hi you American men should become passport bros. I think that means when men get a passport and go find a wife in a foreign country to take advantage of more conservative, potentially, ideals. There are parts of the world where women don't really have rights and stuff, or like they're not allowed to show their faces and whatnot. Don't they deserve better than the filth they are limited to in their own country? Do you agree or disagree? What are your thoughts? I saw a 3,000 year old Romanian woman recently on TikTok and a 700 year old Balkan woman. Both of those women have more testosterone. I think both of them had beards as well. And they were plowing fields. They were, they were both permanently at 90 degree angles. Their bodies permanently like bent over. One had a scythe mowing the lawn with a scythe that's more testosterone i've ever seen and that's those are both very conservative you know countries outside of america this just looks fun on their gill plate when they're this big you can run it between without hurting the gills because see it's between the gills and the gill plate gill <laughs> i like the way she says gill that's funny gill i don't know where she's from is that alabama is that mississippi is that uh she down there from mount chihaw Where's she from? Mount Chihau is my Everest, and the Kusa is mine now. Melania Trump is the ideal. What is the logic? I don't get it. Then she said, most physically attractive, and she got fucking bodied. <laughs> 11 teen woman won 5%. That's so funny. That is so, so, so funny. It's gotta be fucking bait. It has to be, like, actual just... Bait. Boys will be boys. What is wrong with her? It's just weird and bizarrely classist or something. And I feel cringe saying the word classist non-ironically in my videos because I'm like a, I like making jokes and stuff. But this is just dumb. This is just fucking dumb. This is a stupid take that absolutely is 100% bait. It has to be. It quite literally has to be. You cannot bring illiterate twits like Hannah Barron home to mom. That's the honest truth. I ain't sure about the bag of this because... I either go from looking like a rotisserie chicken or What's wrong with you people? There's like a lot of people out there that are like this. You didn't know this is just like how a lot of people are. Tomboys are not hot. I repeat, tomboys are not hot. Attraction to tomboys is homosexuality and women shouldn't be working inside. What kind of man lets his woman work outside like a man? I don't really understand. My mom is like really mean and independent and she's... She worked outside a lot and I worked outside a lot and so did my dad and I respect my mom. Maybe I'm missing something. Let's let's let's, let's perform a thought experiment together, okay? Let's say the world stops, okay? Let's say you can't have the relationship with your girlfriend or your wife or whatever the fuck. You can't just buy her stuff and have her be sitting pretty like a glorified domesticated dog. Let's say that will not work. Let's say, okay, let's say the grid goes down. Let's say food needs to be planted to survive. Let's say there's no power, there's no water, running water, and you have a wife. Does the opinion change then, potentially, I feel like? Because I tell you what, I'm putting that bitch to work, all right? I'm putting that bitch to work hard too hard all the stuff i don't want to do i have the hunter jeans okay i have the jeans that make me really uncomfortable in grocery stores okay guys and i mean it's like a double entendre i mean that in a lot of different ways she also retweeted this tweet from this guy daniel huck whatever the fuck a little context on him could a man have a marriage to a five-year-old consummate it if she started precocious puberty if she starts showing signs of physical maturity then yes that's permissible as i stated that's what about the principle. If there are signs Three. of, so this is something that becomes biologically impossible because precocious I puberty, have a there are shows no. It goes as early as 11 months. All right. Well, that's something that the parents would not uh, the, see. The thing about Islamic marriage. Have you ever met a three-year-old? Yes, I uh, have. Interesting. So before we even get into it, pretty much everything he says doesn't make sense. If they fully acknowledge that being a woman consists in both psychological and bodily traits, they would have to admit that all feminisms, including the first wave, are actually transgender movements. I think that's why Samira reposted it, because she's trying to say that any women who want rights and any women who want any form of autonomy outside of men uh, and like dogma, they are transgenders because they just want to be men, I think is what she's saying. I see the point. It is bad, and it isn't logical. Human beings are animals, all right? There are no animals, really, 
uh, that have one entire gender that is not allowed societally to be self-sufficient. So, you know, that's pretty fucking stupid. Woke up this morning, sandwich was gone.